Hello, I'm Trevor Lewis from Voyager Middle School Steam Lab, and welcome to my backyard. We are today going to use Loom, which is a, um, a way of recording screencasts and videos like I'm doing right now. Um, so I'm going to show you how to get that all set up, and I'm going to show you how to record a video and share it with your students on Google Classroom. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go to just straight up google.com and make sure we're, we're logged in using our school email address. So if you're logged in at all, you'll have something up here. If you click on it, you can see I'm logged in at a Gmail address. So that's not going to work. Loom wants to save directly to my um, my Google Drive. So I want to switch to my at muckleteo.wednet.edu email address. If you don't have that one showing, go ahead and hit add another account and log in with it. Um, I'm going to switch to mine so that I can be ready to go for Google Classroom. Then I'm going to go to loom.com, or you can just go ahead and um, search in Google for Loom. Uh, Loom has made this free for education forever, not just during the COVID crisis. So that's good news for everybody. Once you're here, you're going to press sign in. When you log in, since I'm already logged in with Google, I can just use the login with Google option right here. And it will ask me which Google account. I want to choose my school account so that I save it in the right spots and I can get the education uh, pro version. Uh, the advantage for Loom versus some other things like Screencastify is there's not going to be a limit for how long the videos are. And Loom also has a cool feature where your students or you can play back at a higher rate. So you can play back at 1.5 or 1.2 or 2.0 times as fast, which is kind of nice. So, um, so you can see I'm in Loom right now. And I, you can see uh, it took me already here, and I want to hit record video. You might get to a different page than this. Uh, when I first did it, um, it gave me this page first. Uh, we're not going to install a desktop app because we don't have access to install apps on our Surface, so we're going to use the Chrome extension. You're going to press install extension. It's going to take you to the Chrome web store, and you can install this. Once it's installed, it'll show up right here. You can see my screencastify one. It'll be right up there next to it. So I'm going to add this to Chrome, and it's going to take a minute to download, so I'm going to pause and come back later and show you how to do this. So when I hit install, it'll say, are you sure? It'll do these things. These are the things you want it to do. So you hit add extension. It'll start to download over here, and it's going to take a minute to download, so I'm going to pause and come back. Okay, so now it's just finished, and it's showing up here, and, and it's telling me all these things, but I'm just going to close this window. You can see now I've got this icon. So this will let me record things with Loom, and I'm going to press it. And what will happen is I'll get my Loom options, but you'll notice that I can't record. And I think perhaps that's because, let's see, I think that's because I'm already recording this. And um, what, what has a tendency to happen when you try and record things when you're already recording, it can cause a problem. So um, that's, what, that's what I'm getting right here. So I'm going to have to close this to record it, but these are the same options that you have in Screencastify. Um, you can you can have your your video showing down here. You there's a little circle. There's a video about how to do this from Loom that's pretty good. It's only two minutes long that I recommend. But I'm gonna go record a Loom video and then I'm gonna come back because I want to show you how to add that to Google Classroom so you can share it with your students. Okay, so I'll be right back. Okay, I am back and I have recorded my first Loom video. Um, I took a screenshot of what the controls look like, and this is what happens when you click on the little Loom icon up here in the corner. Um, you can see that you've got notifications and record. All of the things I needed was in the record were in the record tab. I did click on advanced options to show some of these advanced options. You can see you can choose your microphone source. You can choose your camera. This flip camera here makes it so that it looks like you actually look like. I think no wait no uh, let me think about that no that flips it so that it's a mirror so that you can um, know which side is your left and right as you're looking at yourself um, so that's what that does um, you can record the screen and the camera which is recommended if you're trying to show your screen and yourself um, or just the screen or just the camera um, so you can pick those things there um, and then you just hit start recording at the bottom and it'll start a recording uh, you get little controls over by the little bubble that shows up so here's my video um, the thing I really like about zoom uh, it does a couple of things it hosts the videos for you there so you don't have to put them up anywhere um, it also um, allows you to watch them in 1x 2x um, or in between you have some 1.2, 1.5, 1.7. So if you have a teacher that talks real slow, or if you can absorb information quickly, you can speed it up, which is kind of nice. Um, so as a teacher, 
um, I, I also needed to use trim and you just mark out sections you want to remove with trim and then save it and then um, it'll process it for you and then you have your finished video um, I think what you're going to, need to do at minimum is change the name of the video so this is uh, set up Google Classroom for students okay and you can see that over here you hit a link by default link sharing is turned on which means that only people with the link can see your video which is I think probably what you want you're gonna press copy link and say link copied and then you can go back to your classes I've got a test class here um, you're gonna go in there into your classwork you're gonna create the classwork that you want to assign to students and then all you're gonna do is add and you can go down here to link and just control V paste add link and there's the link to my loom video it won't embed it but when they click on that link it'll take them to loom and they can watch the video so that's how you add a loom video to your um, Google classroom so that your students can get the benefit of it